Hello and what's up guys, uh, Jan Misa po, andito ako sa inyo ngayon para sa how to make a V-Ray proxy in 3D Max. Proxies are useful when you want to fill a scene with an instance of objects that have a very high polygon count, such as uh, like this uh, example I'm going to use is uh, 3D trees. Uh, proxy objects save you time um, ma malaking tulong sa inyo ito para pag nag render kayo makakapag save kayo ng time at memory dahil magiging uh, mesh file na lang siya hindi na siya hindi niya nababasahin yung buong poly counts nung object ito guys meron akong uh, object dito na ipoproxy uh, palm tree So, kapag sinelect natin siya, uh, nakagroup siya, no? So, ang gagawin natin, uh, gagawin natin as one object siya. So, para mabasa niya, kapag pinroxy natin, hindi mawawala yung materials niya na naka-attach naka sa kanya, no? So, ang gagawin natin is sa, sa group, under ng group, yan group natin. Tapos, select lang sa labas. Select tayo ng isang object na part ng palm tree. And then, from attach, from uh, modifier, dito sa attach, meron tayong makikita ng square dito. Select uh, the attach list. And then, uh, Use the control key to select all the object and then attach. And then the uh, window will come up, will pop up. Uh, the uh, just select the match material ID to material. And then press OK. So yung uh, object is uh, isang object na lang kapag sinelect natin. So ready na siya for Uh, converting into uh, V-Ray Mesh File. So, what we are going to do is to right-click the object from uh, right-click, select the V-Ray Mesh Export and then choose the, the folder for the file uh, destination. So, from on the right side, press Browse. You have to select a particular destination, a folder destination. Uh, right now, I have already made a folder for my uh, for this tutorial. So, si select ko lang yon. So, under siya ng uh, nilagay ko siya sa my videos ko from my vlog videos. Uh, tutorial vlog select and then uh, for my for this tutorial is proxy so I select the proxy you can even make a new folder uh, para dun mo ipunin lahat ng mga proxy file mo so pwede kang gamawa uh, so ngayon meron akong proxy na folder so doon ko ilalagay and then press ok and then uh Uh, automatically create proxies if it is this this is not unchecked uh, this is not checked you have to check it put a check on it and then press ok so I have already done a proxy file so just I overwrite it uh, say yes and then click ok so ganito magiging itsura nya no? kapag ka uh, naging mesh na siya. So, this is just only a representation of the palm tree object. So, magiging mas magaang na siya kasi hindi lahat ng uh, polygon niya is uh, babasahin ng uh, sa pagre-render. So, ayan. So, ganun gumawa ng proxy file. Naka-proxy na siya. 
plus F9. So kahit naka-proxy siya, hindi pa rin nasira yung uh, object. So ganun pa rin yung magiging itsura nung render niya. So makikita nyo dito sa nire-render nating uh, palm tree is uh, buo pa rin. Halos buo pa rin yung, ano niya, yung image niya.